Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I wanted to let you know that there is a fascinating article on Time Magazine's website, a interview with Jeb about the development of Minecraft, a very fascinating read. I'm going to put a link to it in the description box. Highly recommend you read it for yourself. You get a real insight into how uh, Jeb approaches the game. We'll come back to that in a moment. The main reason I'm making this video is because I think there's something here you'll probably want to know about, which is this question, Windows 10 and Pocket Edition are programmed in C++ and with the end and elytra guiders and 256 block world height imminent, they're nearing parity, which is like, you know, um, basically being the same <laughs> uh, with the Java version. Will the Java and C++ versions continue in parallel or will C++ eventually win out? Now, this is something that I've suspected for a while that they will eventually phase out the Java version, well not phase it out completely, but you know C++ will become the lead. And uh, Jeb can answer that, he says that's a tricky question because in a sense we feel the C++ edition is more future proof since we control the technology from the ground up, i.e. they control the engine, whereas in Java you know, you're, you're working on the Java platform which is out of their control. Um, so the, the C++ version is also much easier to add new features to, so for instance when we did the Gear VR um, version or when we did the HoloLens project it's much more flexible from our point of view. It also allows us to have the mobile phone and computer cross-platform play which we really want. And then this next bit is the important bit. From that perspective it looks like down the line that the C++ will eventually be the main engine and also the main game version. At that same time we have such huge followings on the Java edition it's also that most of the modders and YouTubers and essentially the opinion leaders are all on Java. We also know that even though Pocket Edition has sold more copies, Java has a large essentially pirated active community which we want to reach and of course the Java Edition is much easier to mod. So he's sort of saying there that yes this could move on to C++ and I'd also like to pick into this statement a little bit where he talks about pirated. I mean I'm assuming that they can see probably people that are playing the game even though it's pirated but let's say that they can't, I don't know. When I think about how many copies Pocket Edition have sold, I'm thinking a large portion of people that play Java probably have Pocket Edition but don't actually play it, like myself. And I think it's just so many more people are playing games on mobile phones. A lot of people who play it on computer probably have then gone and brought a copy on Pocket Edition. Uh, but that's just my theory. It probably doesn't really sway the numbers in that favour. Um, yeah, so really fascinating stuff. One day it's very likely C++ will be the lead. And I think that's right. It means the game will be more stable and it will be able to be developed better but at this point you know what much more can they do because if you've read the article through like I have Jeb sort of points out that whatever they do they'll always get it wrong you know because if they put in too little into an update people will moan if they put in too much people will call it in a mod in a derogatory term as Jeb called it which I really don't like seeing those sorts of comments um, and you know someone's always going to pick apart what they're doing and so they take it slow. They try and slowly add little things that add to various parts of the game without rushing into adding features. As the time people ask, you know, a modder can add like, you know, 10 new blocks in, in a day, yet they take a year to add two. And Jeb points out they take their time with things. They don't rush. They don't want to add a load of stuff in because the game's already full of blocks. And yeah, it really gives you an insight. Um, there was something else here as well. I believe it is this question. The C++ version just added support for tweaking the game by way of JSON files. At this point we can only fiddle with stuff that's already in the game. Would we ever be able to do something like create new mobs from scratch or is that a problem the JSON approach can't solve? Now his answers here it's kind of like a yes and no. It's sort of like maybe we will, maybe we won't. We're, we're trying to but we're not sure if we should kind of answer. I, I think they'll end up doing that. That'll be extremely powerful, you know, having an add-on to add new mods. It's sort of like modded will then become more in-house, like the API that they once promised but never came around. Anyway, it's a fascinating read. Go and read the whole article. There'll be a link to it in the description box. That's just my thoughts on it. I wanted to share them with you because of that main thing that we read up here. I thought that was really um, important to, to get across because many of you probably want to know. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.